Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to learn how to draw angle 37 and a half and 33 quarter. So the first thing you do is you draw your horizontal line. Let's say from here to here. That again. And the next thing you do, you mark a point on the horizontal line. Let's see. Let's see this point here. So I'll just put it this way. So at this point here, this is what we have. I'll just draw this to be this way. You can see that? Now, we know very well that in angle we move in an anticlockwise direction. So it means the horizontal line is zero degree right and the vertical line is 90 degree and this is what 180 degree we are moving in this manner now what you now do is we want to draw angle 37 and a half so what you do here is you make use of your c square and what your c square both of them you know very well when the set square is standing straight this way this inclined axis here is 60 degree to the horizontal and either it is facing right or it is facing left it is still your angle what angle 60 degree is that the key so if it is sitting this way this is angle what angle 30 that is facing left or it is facing right is that the key now so if i should come at this point here i have to draw 37 and a half we know we have some special angle such as angle um 30 angle 15 and angle 90 then we have 45 too is that the key now? So, if I want to draw, we know 37 and a half falls in between two special angles. And that, that is angle 30 and angle what? 45. So, I will use my angle 30, which is my um, C square. You know, when it's sitting down like this, it is the inclined side is 30. And I'll move it to this point here. I'll move it to this point here and I'll draw my horizontal line. So it means that this inclined line I draw from here to this point here, this is what? Angle what? Angle 30 degree. Right? And um, I will use my 45 degree. When this one is standing this way, both inclined at 45. So if I move it to this point and I draw, this angle here is angle what? Angle 45. So this is 0, this is 30, and this is what? 45 degree now we know very well that my 37 and a half falls in between 30 and 45 right so that means my 37 and a half is somewhere around here now let me reproduce this figure at this other side so let's see what will happen here now i have reproduced this is that the key now, first of all, we need 37 and a half. I said this is 30, then 7 and a half falls in between 45 and 30. Now, if you subtract 45 from 30, you're going to be having 15. It means that the angle between here and here is what? It's 15 degree, right? So the angle between here from point A, if I switch like my arc this way, so the angle between this point and this point is what 15 degree. Now, if I bisect 15 degree, I'm going to be having seven and a half, right? So with the same radius, or if I like, I adjust it a little bit. I'll place it at this point here where it cuts. I'll call it my A prime. And I'll call here my A prime prime, right? So when I place it at my A prime here, I'll strike an arc. 
And when I place on my A prime prime, I also check another arc. So they are meeting at this point, right? So I will now connect that point to my point A. So that point to my point A is from here, straight down to this point. You see that I'm taking it. If you wonder why am I taking this line, it's because this is seven and a half, right? Seven and a half. Am I correct? From here to here, seven and a half. That means thirty plus seven and a half will give us thirty seven and a half. That is why I'm taking that line. So I will not take in from here to here because this is what I actually need. So the angle between this point, let me start from point A between here and here is given to be 37.5 or you see that seven and a half, any of the two. Is that taken? Now you'll be wondering, is this man correct? Let me confirm with you. Now, if I take my protractor to confirm if we are on the right track, this side here, my point A will fall in between this part here. I have this this way, right? And I place my zero on this line. Now, if you move forward, if I incline it this way, Now this was happening. This is um zero. This is zero. Here, yeah. this is ten. This is twenty. This is thirty. Right. This is thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, and a half. You can see that closely, right? If you start from this point, zero, ten, twenty, thirty. You see, it's already inclined with this thirty. We have 35, 36, 37, then in between this is what 37 and a half. You can see that. Now, this is how you draw your angle. Now, let's now see the next one we are trying to look at will be 33, 3 over 4, right? 33 quarter. Now, look at this again. This is 33 quarter falls in between 30 and still 45, right? So that means if I bisect. 30 and 45. You know the angle in between from this point from this point to this point, right? Let's say this is point B. And we have B prime. They will have B prime prime, right? So the angle between both of them is that 45 minus 30 is 15. So if I bisect B prime and B prime prime, if I place it here, I bisect here, this way, and I place it at B prime prime also, I bisect here, this way, they are meeting at this point. Right? So if I draw my line passing through that point, if I draw my line passing through that point, I'm going to be having 37 and a half. 37 and what and a half is that the key? So it's meaning that the angle between B prime, right? And if this is B prime, the angle between B prime, let me put another one again from here. The angle between B prime, this is B prime, right? And the new angle, let me call it B prime 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 three, right? Is what seven and a half. So the angle between here and here seven and a half. Also the angle between here and here seven and a half. But because I'm starting from zero and in an anticlockwise direction, meaning that we are moving from here to this point here. So I'm going to bisect these two now. So because the angle between between B prime 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 and B prime is seven and a half, I will now bisect seven and a half. So if I place my compass here at any given radius, I can adjust this if I want to. If I place it at my B prime here, right? I will strike and act this way. I'll place it at my B prime prime. I'll strike another act this way. So where they are meeting is at this point here, right? So that angle 
will be three quarter. So I'll just put it this way and I'll just taking it this way. So the angle between here will not be thirty three three over four. Why? Because if you divide seven and a half, you are going to be having three three quarter. That take it now. So from this angle to this from this point here to this point. So I will just stick it is my angle. So from this point to this point here will be thirty three three over four. So that's how you construct angle 33 3 over 4. Is that again? Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button.